What's up y'all? Welcome back to Brittany Automotive. I know long time no see, but today we are going to be unboxing my Circle D torque converter. This has already been opened. It's an extra stator and I will explain that in a second. I've definitely already looked in this box too because if you got this box on your front porch, you wouldn't be able to wait for YouTube to open it. So, bear with me. Yeah, you can tell I already opened it. <laughs> so here is an SFI flywheel. Ooh, the bolts are loose in there too. I did that. Their packaging was much nicer than what I left it as. It's so pretty. This is SFI rated. A lot of tracks require it in HRA safety rules for certain speed. SFI rated flywheel is required. Now, for the star of the show. Here is my new torque converter. Let's talk about this absolute beauty right here. Again, thank you so much to Circle D Specialties. First wanna say that this is a 230 millimeter bolt together torque converter. It is bolt together because of the way that it is. It's got a bunch of bolts in it. That means it's a bolt together. This little extra part right here is called a stator. So the reason why you would get a bolt together is to change said stator. The reason why you would want to change a stator is because currently this torque converter is all loosey goosey. It's got an NA stator in there and it's ready to go for my setup currently without any nitrous. It's loosey goosey, ready for NA. This stator right here is very tight. It is made for my setup, which would be nitrous. So when the car runs a lot more nitrous, it's going to have to have a lot more tighter of a torque converter and we're going to send candles through that thing. That is why you would get a bolt. <laughs> so that would be the reason why you get a bolt together torque converter. You get a bolt together so that you don't have to send this off get it changed and get it sent back. You can do all of this with the comfort of your own home, garage, bedroom, if you really wanted to, racetrack, if you're in a real bind, but you could do it all yourself. All you do have to do is unbolt all of these, put the new stator in, bolt it all back together, throw it back in the car, you're ready to go. So that is the reason why I got a bolt together. We have an NA stator in here that's all loosey goosey. We have a spare nitrous that's a lot tighter and we're ready to go on either setup. So, Let's go put this thing in the car because I'm excited. Before we put the torque converter in the car, we are going to fill it up with some Motul tranny fluid and then we'll get it in there. I'm for this video so I'm gonna do it on my way home from work and my truck so welcome to my truck um, but I do want to say a huge huge thank you to Circle D Specialties for sending me that torque converter the engine is actually in the Camaro already you guys won't see it for either another week or two weeks I'm not sure but if you guys want to see sooner updates go over to my Instagram it's operating automotive I typically post everything first there or you can add me on my snapchat I post it on Instagram every once in a while so you guys can see that but Thank you to all my sponsors. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing, commenting, all the kind things. I know I've been gone for a little bit, but I'm back. And I will see you all next week.